Hello, this is Michael Kinsler here, and we're going to go back in part two of add a product. Now, earlier on, I added this product here, the Audi A2. So now I'm going to amend it. So what we do is we look for manage products. We click on that. And because I've only got a few products here, all the products will come up down listed down here below. You can have thousands of products and it's very easy to search a product here. So product ID, product name, so we check out the product IDs in Audi A2. So we just copy that back in here, paste it in here, and then search. And it will come up with Audi A2. Yeah, we have it here, so we just click on it. And it will come up with everything that you've done in here. And which I didn't explain to you was if you wanted to make it um call for price. So what you do is then um you take these out, just take the prices out, and then just click here call for price. Now as you look here uh on which one is it now? the um, the Alpha Spider you'll see that it says call for price and that's what you'll end up here so that if you don't leave any price in there it will actually won't process it so you have to tick either put a price in or call for price now the tax and everything else which I explained is here not assigned and general so you can either have it taxed or not taxed. It's depending on which area you live in. As I explained, free shipping. You can buy five of them. Um, we've got the picture in here. This is what it looks like. And if you want to add extra pictures, um, now it's basically go on to secondary images. Now secondary images means you just browse and just add them. So we just browse and I just pick out the ones I want. So I just add them. You can do this three at a time. You can have as many pictures as you want. And at this stage then you're looking fairly good. Check your product out. And it's all fairly smart. What you do is click save. Save changes. And you can actually do this in the second images as well. If you come up here and you've just added your images. This is what I do last and then just save the changes. Now it's telling me here that I've got a problem, okay, with the pricing. So I go back in here and it's actually nothing marked there. So obviously there's something wrong. It won't let you process the order or won't let you process it out unless there's something wrong with either a dot or something like that. So we'll try it again. Now please end the product price. Right, dot. See where it's saying the dot there? I've actually put in a comma. So, something I've done wrong here. So, we just enter a price in here. And we'll press that. See, will that come up? It will. So, let it go through. And refresh. And we're looking at this one here. Now, see, it's, you have to enter a price into there. So now it's telling me call for price. So once I click on it, the shipping price is 200, but it's telling me to call for a price. But it's, we've also displayed the shipping price. And there's the extra images. And all your text will go below here. And I think I have one set up already for that. And the first one, yeah. Again, all your text, you've got an overview, which is, I'll show you here, manage products. And you've got a separate line, doesn't have any links or anything, and this is your whole text will go in here, and you can write as much as you want.
it doesn't make a difference the web page will just expand out to whatever text you have now we'll go back in there again now this is basically about it if you want to add secondary images again you just click on again and we can add more images so you can have as many as you want the price is not displayed but if I take tick that off it would actually come up then and that's basically how you do it and um, it's test yourself completely and make sure that you know this is all up and running correctly for each product and if once after this one you can add in as many products as you want okay so we'll move on to the next project then